Now we're going to take a look at Thevenin's theorem because that's a really handy theorem that will help us solve some additional problems that we'll see in some videos in the future. So what is Thevenin's theorem? Well, it's a really interesting uh, concept here. Let's say we have a circuit like this where we have uh, two batteries, one of 40 volts, one 10 volt battery. We have two resistors, 8 ohm and 2 ohm. And then in the connection branch right here, we have what we would call the low resistor. The resistor that's, that is uh, attached to the circuit and usually what we're what uh, we're interested in is finding out how much current will actually go through the load resistor and notice because the presence of the two batteries this is not a simple problem we could potentially solve this using Kirchhoff's rules but that would involve like putting uh, together a problem with three equations three unknowns which is possible but Thevenin thought of a way of making this whole thing a little bit simpler so let's go ahead and see what the theory is and, uh, and how to apply it to something like this. So ultimately, what the Thevenin's theorem can do is reduce this circuit into an equivalent circuit where we then attach the load resistor to where it makes it really easy to find the current through that load resistor. So how do we do that? Well, we do it as follows. Typically, what we're trying to do, this is the end goal, is to end up with something like this where we have an equivalent voltage. We call that the Thevenin's voltage. And we have an equivalent resistance called the Thevenin's resistance. And then this becomes the replacement circuit for everything but the load resistor. So we take the whole rest of the circuit right here and not include the load resistor right there, this whole rest of the circuit. That will now be replaced by a simple circuit like this. And then all we have to do is attach the load resistor to it. And then of course it becomes really easy to figure out what the current through the load resistor is because all we have to do, oops, I put a 4 down and actually I wanted to write the letter L right there. So all we have to do is to find I through the load resistor that is equal to the voltage, the Thevenin voltage, divided by the sum of the two resistors. And of course now there are series uh, resistors, so there's simply the uh, Thevenin's resistance plus the load resistance. And that would then be the simple equation to find out what the current is. So the whole objective then is to find out what the Thevenin voltages of the circuit, of the equivalent circuit, and what the Thevenin resistance is of the equivalent circuit. So we have to find the voltage and we have to find the equivalent resistance. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually very straightforward. As soon as you realize what we're trying to do here, you say, wow, that's pretty neat, that's pretty interesting. So the first quest is to find the Thevenin voltage is we're going to remove the load resistor and then find out what the voltage will be across that open branch. All right, let's uh, redraw the circuit so you can see what we're talking about. So we have, still have this resistor. Okay, we still have that resistor. We still have our battery. And I connect it down here. And now we simply have removed the load resistor and the difference between those two, that will give us the Thevenin voltage. That's what we're looking for. That will be the value that goes in here. And how do we find that? Well. Notice that this is the positive end of the battery, the negative end, the positive end, the negative end. This was 40 volts, this was 10 volts. We had an 8 ohm resistor and we had a 2 ohm resistor. All right, now notice that if we set the potential of the bottom side of the circuit equal to zero, that's arbitrarily done, so this would be the zero potential, zero volts. Then we have a 40 volt jump, so this would be at 40 volts. Since this is at zero volts, then this will be at 10 volts because the battery will have raised the potential by 10 volts across the battery. And now we see that the difference between this corner right there and this corner right there is 30 volts. 40 volts on one side, 10 volts on the other. So the potential difference between this point and that point is 30 volts. Now, how many volts will drop across the 8 ohm resistor versus the 2 ohm resistor? Well, since the 8 ohm resistor is four times as big as the 2 ohm resistor, four times as much voltage will drop uh, across this resistor compared to this resistor. Or a better way of writing it, we could simply say that the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor is equal to the total voltage difference right here, which is 30 volts, multiplied by the ratio of the resistance of this resistor divided by the resistance of the total uh, branch from the 40 volts to the 10 volts. This is a, not a good looking ohm symbol. There we go. And so the total resistance here is 10 ohms. So simply 8 tenths of 30 volts and 8 tenths of 30 volts is 24 volts. So we have a 24 volt drop from this point to this point. So if this was at 40 volts, 
minus 24 volts, then that puts this point right here at 16 volts, and then there would be a 6 volt drop from there to there to make it 10 volts. Now we realize that this point right here is at 16 volts, this point right there connected to the bottom part of the circuit is at 0 volts, so the difference here is 16 volts, that becomes the Thevenin voltage. That's the voltage right here, and so this now becomes 16 volts. So now we have half of the Thevenin circuit, now we still have to find the resistance of the, the equivalent Thevenin resistance of that circuit. And the way you do that is you keep all this the way it was before, but now you're going to take the batteries away and simply short out the battery. Simply remove the batteries, put a, a current, uh, I mean a circuit there without any components attached to it, and then find the resistance from A to B. So let me redraw the circuit, and we'll put it right over here. So now we have this circuit right here. We still have that resistor, we still have this resistor, we have terminal A, we have terminal B, I'll call A and B. Now the batteries are gone. This is still the 8 ohm resistor and this is still the 2 ohm resistor. So now to find what we call the Thevenin resistance of the circuit, R Thevenin right there, it's simply the resistance between A and B. R Thevenin is the resistance going from A to B, and of course what we have to do is come out here, notice we have a branch, two resistors come back to B, so this is really a parallel branch circuit, and since we have a resistor in each branch, to find the equivalent resistance, which is the Thevenin resistance, R equivalent, which is also the same as R Thevenin, is equal to the product over the sum of those two resistors, because again, we go from A to B, we have two ways of getting there, therefore that makes that a parallel branch with two resistors, one in each branch, and so we have 8 times 2, that's the product over the sum 8 plus 2, and so this is 16 divided by 10, or 1.6 ohms. So the equivalent resistance, or the Thevenin resistance of that circuit, by removing the low resistor and shorting out the two batteries, we get the equivalent Thevenin resistance of that circuit, which goes up in here. 1.6 ohms. Now, to find the current through the low resistor, we take the Thevenin voltage, which is 16 volts, and divide it by the total resistance of the circuit, which would be the Thevenin circuit, uh, resistance plus the load resistance. Thevenin was 1.6 ohms, and the load resistance was 5 ohms right here. And so we have the current is equal to 16 volts, divided by 6.6 ohms, and let me get a calculator for that. So we have 16 divided by 6.6 equals 2.42, we'll just write it as 2.4 amps, and that's how you find the current through a load resistor by replacing the circuit by the equivalent Thevenin circuit, and that is known as Thevenin's theorem. Very handy theorem at that.